okay, uh, here's the image that you, or part of the image that you created, um, because we're only really interested in this uh, ring here. Um, and okay, it's a silver ring, um, and um, so it's still with silver. Uh, this is gold, this is gold colour, and you know, if you just fill this thing like that, um, an ellipse like that with gold it wouldn't look like a ring at all um, what makes the ring is the highlights and the lowlights within the, the actual ring so um, you've you've got that pretty much overall background color then you've got these darker highlights around here and you've got the higher whiter highlights around here uh, so what you need to do to reproduce that is to reproduce those highlights and the way I go about it um, what I'm going to do is control clone that in a minute I like to work as we're reproducing that ring um, is to reproduce it so I'm working on a fairly level playing field and I'll just rotate that fairly quickly round somewhere like that move it down I'm using this line here as a guideline um, so now when I create this um, ellipse uh, I'm not working on that angled ellipse I'm working on a straight ellipse so I can delete that now because that's already in the background here okay so I've now uh, created using the ellipse tool I've created this uh, uh, ellipse um, it, <coughs> because I've already been working on it it's um, turned into a shape but normally that would just be an ellipse um, hang on I'll, what I'll do is I'll delete that delete that uh, go into the ellipse tool and just drag it out like that roughly give it um, let's give it a red outline no fill um, and that pretty much matches up uh, then I'll control K to clone that control plus K is a clone and I'll give that a blue color and using my favorite tool the contour tool I'll drag this in so it matches up pretty much with the inside and then you've got to hit the inset tool and I end up with these two shapes I end up with this red ellipse here and this blue inner ellipse here um, or shape now it is and then I go arrange combine shapes subtract shapes and nothing really seems to have them change at all at all but I can then go if I want and go and just make that a gold color um, so that's where we get that shape from um, I can delete that um, so we ended up here I've got this shape now what I've done is is filled that shape um, with a color and what I tend to do is use name colors they might be fussy to start off with but um, they make things so much easier to change later on um, so this one here is actually a name colour called Ring Binder and that's the background image that will overlay everything else um, ok so the next thing we need to do we've got this what will actually stand in for that bit there we need to create these highlights um, so again what I tend to do is if I zoom in here um, not worrying about colors at the moment I'm just trying to get the regions of highlight this is a dark darker region here this is a whiter highlight this is a darker region this is a darker region darker region darker region lighter region I should need to do somewhere on this bit here because we're I'm missing that darker region this what white region and this whoops sorry uh, 
in this slightly darker region. Um, so let's just zoom back out again. The previous zoom. Um, now, what I need to do with these is to add highlights and lowlights to them. Uh, but because I'm going to be also needing to apply feathering because I don't want um, because I want these regions up here I'm going to feather them I want them to be slightly larger than they are so again what I what I did was select those areas control clone and I'll move it down a bit here move it down there um, and I'll change that line color to green and if I just zoom in um, select those areas back in with the um, contour tool and drag them out like that and inset path you can see I end up with um, larger areas than I require um, and that's deliberate because when I feather them let's say if I just fill this one with orange no line color when I feather it it keeps it in a shape whereas if I was to do the same here um, give that orange none and feather it very soon disappears so that's why I that's why I enlarge those um, areas and then it's just a matter of having done that here are these areas that correspond to these areas and um, what I do is tend to get hold of that um, fill it with the that color take off the green and then just go uh, create local color make it a color of ring binder uh, and I'll call it I've already got a ring binder light so ring binder I'll call this tutorial create and then I can drag ring binder tutorial in to here and I can remember we're not looking down here you can change that um, to whatever you want it's, it's a it, it's a white color really so you can go up towards the white um, and that's the way it works and um, that's a bit map a clip bit map and this is this section here is my f finalized um, image, um, vector image. Um, and as I say, what you can do is drop the ring binder color in and the beauty of using name colors and um, shades of name colors is you can actually um, change things. Let's just zoom out to 100%, zoom up. And so I wanted to make that gold, and as I know that's gold, if I come down here now and zoom back in, that ring binder has now become um, gold rather than silver. And if I wanted to change it back to silver, I could go back over that way. If I wanted to change it over to a blue, um, say green. Uh, you can just carry on messing around. I know it's not quite correct. Oops, sorry. It's not quite correct over here, but I'm more interested in creating the tutorial than uh, doing anything else. Um, and I think that's that's the way you go about it. So it's a matter of um, everything silver is one colour, but it, it silver becomes... Um, only silver when it's highlighted like chrome gold it needs it and you you need to get those highlights and the thing is the highlights are, are lighter and darker 
and they're, they're not sharp edged either so you have to use feathering quite a bit to get that effect anyway i hope this has helped this is egg and good night